Let's ask Mark Newton. He is Fundstrat's global head of technical strategy. Back with us. Nice to see you again. Your big headline today is, quote, increasingly, I am of the opinion that Lowe's could be in for the year at the very least. Why do you think that? Well, Scott, there's two important reasons. One is that uh, the S&P, the Dow, and the, the transports have actually regained prior levels that were broken. So structurally, the markets are looking more sound on a short-term basis. Uh, the second is that technology has come back with a vengeance, and that is very important, of course, to the market, with tech being at 28 percent. So we're seeing now leadership out of not only the consumer rebounding, but also now technology uh, is rapidly starting to come back. So those are two big bullish things. Uh, of course, as you know, you know, my toolkit includes quite a few different you know, areas and methodologies, including Elliott Wave and GAN. And so, you know, a lot of the cycles suggest that, uh, you know, late June is important. My thinking is how this all will proceed is really a rally into the Fed meeting, and then we probably back off a little bit into late June. Uh, but my thinking is uh, it's right to be long and simply use any dip to buy between now and the next month. Wow. Rather than any pop to sell. I mean, because I can't find that many people who agree with you, right? I mean, everybody's gotten so negative. And maybe that's a sign in and of itself of a contrarian way to look at things. I, I don't know. But you, you know what I'm saying. It, it's, people expected a bounce. Are we being fooled into thinking it can actually be something more? You know, I started to see a real sea change really about a week ago when people went from buying dips into now a lot more people started to project down to 3,500 in the S&P. And that was a big change. And so, yes, yeah, sentiment has been bearish for a while. Uh, we didn't really see the proper evidence of capitulation that I was hoping for, meaning, you know, VIX backwardation or an equity put to call above one. Uh, we did see a pretty critical piece of evidence back on May the 20th when we bottomed was that we saw a huge overbalance of selling. We saw trend readings up above 3.5. Uh, for those that don't understand, that just means there's been a lot of downside selling uh, that happened literally right at the lows. And so normally, that gives you a little bit of evidence that we're getting very close to capitulation. So I've, I've been encouraged with the sector activity in the last couple of weeks. And, you know, the prices have moved up enough that I think we likely have bottomed. And uh, I'll be using any pullback into late June to really add to longs.